Hey, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Rachel and I share my travels here on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm sharing tips on how to vlog in public without feeling embarrassed or awkward. I know that when I started vlogging, it was really hard for me to talk to the camera, especially for long periods of time with people walking around, especially if I was in a crowded area or inside of a building, I just felt kind of weird about it. But after the last couple of years, I think I've gotten a little bit better and I do have a few tips to share with you if you are just starting out vlogging or traveling and just wanting to capture some videos. I am here to help. So let's go ahead and get started. Tip number one is to use a smaller camera. I use a GoPro Hero 8, which is only about this big. So it's easy to use in museums or crowded areas without drawing attention to the fact that I am videotaping. Whereas a lot of vloggers, and you might be included in this, use bigger cameras that are are maybe more professional, high quality. Maybe you have sound equipment on there as well and it just kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. And if you want the higher quality and stuff, yeah, you have to deal with that and just kind of pretend like people aren't maybe watching you. I don't really know anything about using big cameras because like I said, I just use the GoPro and I really like the convenience of it and that's small enough to fit in my pocket and isn't super conspicuous when I am recording. You could also use your phone. Of course, you do lose some quality when you're using a phone or a GoPro, but if you are really <laughs> unsure or awkward about filming in public if you start with a smaller camera and then you can build up to a bigger camera and then you might feel more at ease. The second tip is definitely one of my favorites and it's something that I started doing relatively recently and that's talking to a wall. So when you are out in the streets of a city or at any kind of attraction really and there's a wall, talk to the wall. Hold your camera here and record yourself talking about whatever is going on and all the people in the background, you don't notice them walking by or possibly looking at you. You don't get distracted. If you try to record with people walking by in front of you or where you can see the people, you might get distracted and cut off, which is definitely what I usually do. If someone walks by, I might just stop talking. But if you're facing the wall and you can't see any of the people, then you can easily talk to the camera and just pretend like you're the only one there. And yeah, that's a really big tip, I think, for you know social anxiety if you are talking to a camera. My third tip is to go to attractions early, so maybe before they open and there are less crowds, and you can get a lot of good B-roll in and do your recording, talking to the camera when there aren't a bunch of people around. Okay, I'm at the Porto Cathedral. I'm the only one in here right now. It's just a little after nine, they open at nine. It's a quarter to 10 now and there's a line to get in. So I suggest coming a little bit earlier if you don't want any people. This is really great, especially in big cities. And if things open later, like nine o'clock, you can get there a couple hours early, still have a lot of light and get shots without a ton of people. Or if you're also doing photography, this is also a good time to come to attractions. The fourth tip is to bring someone with you. It's definitely harder and more awkward to talk to the camera when you're alone, solo traveling. But if you have someone with you, it feels a little less awkward, even if they're not participating in the video so much, maybe they're standing behind the scenes or just standing next to you, smiling awkwardly like my parents usually do. It is just so much better to have, you know, that comfort of having someone you know with you and it makes it just seem less awkward than when you are by yourself. The fifth tip is to pay attention to where you're not allowed to film. Some museums or churches are no photography, no filming allowed, and you just have to look. There's usually signs and there's no photography or videography allowed inside. So obviously I don't have any footage. You don't want to be that person that's trying to take a photo or record when it's not allowed, especially if it's in a quiet, maybe sacred place. Just make sure to follow those rules and respect the culture. My last tip is that nobody cares. Just remember, no one cares. If someone sees you recording in public, maybe they'll look at you for a second, but they're going to forget. Like they don't even care. They're going to keep walking and it's going to completely go out of their mind that they even saw someone recording. No one actually cares what other people are doing, especially in big cities. No one's going to pay attention. They're dealing with their own life and trying to get to where they're going. They're not going to stop and stare at you because you're talking to a camera. It's okay. No one actually cares what you're doing. And that is 
something that I kind of struggle with trying to remember, but you just gotta do what you do and try not to be awkward or think about what other people are doing because they're not thinking about you. Okay, so those are my little tips on vlogging in public, being more confident with your vlogging. I know there weren't a lot of tips and there's probably a lot more out there that you could find on the internet, but I think these are the top tips that I relate to the most and hopefully they help you out. Leave in the comments if you have any other tips or questions and I will try to help you out. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. All right, bye.